Lizaniacs, I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about a book that I got sent for a review called What Lies Between Us. I had to look. <laughs> yeah, we already, well, we already did one a long time ago called What Lies Beneath, right? No, we did uh, What We Forgot to Bury. <laughs> uh, okay, well that's what lies right. Right. So this is uh, What Lies Between Us by John Mars. This is the first time I've ever read a John Mars book. I know people rave about his books, the like thriller, like really good. I actually just purchased The One by John Mars that people are like, you need to read this book if you like John Mars. So I am like, cool, I will put that on my TBR at some point in my life because um, I'm backed up. Um, so this is, what did I say? This is What Lies Between Us. It is the, the thriller book. It is the story of uh, Maggie and I can't remember her daughter's name. Anyway, it's two characters. Uh, Maggie uh, lives in the attic of her, of her house. Her daughter lives in the lower floors. Um, and you come to find out, and this is a very twisty book, right? Okay, so I'm going to see what I can actually give away without totally spoiling what is happening. So you come to find out that Maggie is the, uh, prisoner and has been for a couple years of her daughter because of choices that Maggie made in her daughter's life in order... I'm not even going to say that. So choices she made in her life. So her daughter is taking revenge by holding her hostage, chaining her up in the attic, letting her down every once in a while to uh, have dinner with her. For the most part, she just stays up in the attic. Um, there's a lot of like stories floating around the neighborhood about where she might be. She has dementia. She's at some old folks home somewhere, whatever. It really is the dynamic story of these two women as you start to figure out what did Maggie do and how does it pertain to the situation and it really becomes a matter of perception um, where one might think she was doing it to be malicious someone else might say that she was doing it to be protective you be the judge there are many other things that happen in this book towards the end that are extremely spoilery and I am not, not even going to go there. Uh, it is a very psychological book. I gave it four stars, but the ending to me was not the most satisfying ending that I would like it. It kind of got wrapped up. But it left me wanting, uh, it left me wanting more for the outcome of it and maybe repercussions from the outcome. I, that's kind of what I wanted, <laughs> but I didn't get it. And again, I can't talk about why because it's a thriller. It does seem to be a, a kind of a thing that we're seeing a lot of these days is books about a girl who's getting revenge on her abusive, yeah. abusive I mean, mother, and then it ends in a way that we're all like, okay, so how does this really end? So yeah, I was getting, I was getting uh, really big Darling Rose Gold vibes off of this. That's probably why you're saying that. I don't know why I happen to be reading a lot of psychological domestic thrillers lately, but I have been, but whatever. But yeah, so um, I ended up giving this book four stars. Um, and I, I will put all the information down below for you uh, so that you can check it out too if you want to. Okay. Until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.